All right, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how to create a baller scrolling banner on Squarespace that draws in your viewer, reader, buyer's attention um, and looks really good. So let me show you what I was inspired by. Um, Set Active is doing their Black Friday, Cyber Monday pre-sale. And I loved the look of how clean this was. I think sometimes these scrolling banners can get kind of crazy. So we're gonna kind of go off that. Again, you can have this simple little thing on Squarespace. Um, and how you do that is as follows. So also, if you, we're gonna side note, if you want these lines, I really like those lines for the menu. I think it looks really nice. So if you wanna ever have that, you go into edit and then edit site header. You can do this on any page. And then you can go into, you're in the global settings, so you go into style, border. Love it. So you can also make it thicker. I like it to be thinner, the border itself. And if you want it just on the bottom, you can do this. Sometimes I'll do that. Um, but I kind of like how Set Active did it all the way around. So now we have it all the way around that, be thinner. Um, like that last website, you can go over to the desktop right here and change the height to get it to be a little bit there. This is, um, you can space certain things out, like the links, if you want those to be a little bit further out. So anyway, that makes that look pretty nice, I think. And just make sure you hit save. This is the client site, so I'm going to exit. I'll send her this video, and if she wants to do it, she can, but... So next we're gonna go into making this into a scrolling type of thing. So first of all, where do you even find this thing? Go back to marketing, marketing tools, and it's your announcement bar. So if you have it disabled, you won't see it. Enable announcement bar, and this is where you can write in the that thing. And then just make sure you have a click through URL for wherever it's going to go. So adding in the custom CSS, this is, if you're using an older version of uh, Squarespace, you might be finding your CSS in a different spot. But on the most updated version, you go to your website, scroll down, go to website tools, custom CSS, and then go to the bottom and do some slashes um, just so you know what you're doing. And then you're gonna copy and paste this code. I'm not gonna take credit. Um, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. I got this code from Becca with Inside the Square. Um, she's a great coder. So uh, I will link her article. Um, and then just some things that you can do to maybe edit the text a little bit. If you wanna make it a little bit slower, we could change this or faster. So let's do five seconds. That's gonna be a lot faster. Let's do 45 seconds. That'll be a lot slower. Um, and then save it. And let's go back to set active. So you can see they have a lot of spaces in between this. So you can really mess around with things. So let's go back to announcement bar and make the text longer. So like, I'll put one, two, three, four, five spaces, maybe. And then let's just say it was a Black Friday. So Black Friday, that's what they have on their website. Set Miranda sale starts now. One, two, three, four, five. Um, get 25% off the membership. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm just trying to, oh, it's gonna cut me. I'm trying to create as much text as I can because as you can see, when you create a slower scroll, um, it's gonna take longer to go around. So that's just something to keep in mind. <laughs> um, but hopefully you found this to be helpful. Hopefully it kind of up-leveled your announcement bar as well as your menu bar. And let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Um, I teach tons of Squarespace tutorials, so just find them on YouTube. And if you are interested in learning more about how to design a Squarespace website, I have a Squarespace with Confidence course that takes you behind the scenes and not just teaches you how to do a website, but how to do it with strategy, which is super important if you want it to actually convert.